So, welcome to Gustav makes a Bioshock syringe for little sisters. So, we're gonna start with uh, taking this PVC pipe and bending it with this um, electrical bending tool. It's just a big feather that you, oh, sorry, a big spring that you put inside and uh, bend it with so it still holds its shape. And then we're going to use this uh, little Kinder egg. And this is going to be a lot of measuring and cutting and so on. So I have this 30 millimeter pipe and a 25 millimeter pipe that we're going to attach to each other. So we're just going to clean up the edges here and fix this all the uh, things with it. So it will looks great. And then we're going to cut this Kinder egg and put it on. And also I will explain what a Kinder egg is for you who don't know. And for you American viewers, if someone from America is watching this, we are using this. This is very illegal in the United States. It's actually the most seized object in the American um, border, one of them at least. And what this is, is a children's toy that comes in a chocolate egg that you opened up and it's filled with toys inside a chocolate egg. And this has been banned because they're gonna protect children from not dying from it. So, if you can get your hands on this in America, well, you can be in big, big trouble. Yes, for this little trivia about this product we have here. So, I'm just gonna cut off the edges there and uh, make it uh, so it will look like the trigger part for the syringe. And now this is a little bit problematic due to its um, it is in an angle. So I'm just trying to drill a circle here and then uh, cut out it all. And I'm using the computer to uh, have that as a reference because it's very very useful. So I blow it up to the right. The rough size is actually uh, a bit smaller than my hand. Have a lot smaller because the person who has ordered this um, for me because I do a co mission. Uh, and also, in general, it's made for like six year old girls in the um, game, so it should be small. I've seen some people that just make a very, very oversized version of the syringe, so they will scale up like if they are the children. So now we're going to drill a hole here to fit this big plastic rod. It's a bit tricky to drill on an angle, so measure a lot and take your time on this. And also try to make it as straight as possible. And you see, there it is. So now I take this little plastic cone I have here. It's actually from like some kind of ice cream candy. So the parts may vary if you cannot find the same parts as I do, but um, yeah, see what you have at home. This is actually a plastic little wheel. I think it is from IKEA or something. Its head lying around. And this black part we have here is actually for fishing a wire. There you go. And then we have this little part from a hair dyeing product. And now we're going to take the shampoo bottle that's staying you know, up in the screen just drill a hole in it so we can fit it, so we can screw uh, away the um, bottle to fill it with blood later on, or with Adam. So there you go, you see how it is there? And then we're going to cut it in the right length, and uh, you see it's already text on this one, 
Uh, I couldn't find one with a sticker on, so I had to scrape it all off, but it looks kind of cool because um, Rapture is kind of wore down and dented and everything in it. And this is actually um, from a children's bottle, a, a milk bottle for children. Um, the thing I would put in there, so I just um, find that, and the orange part is from, uh, well, earplugs. So now we are going to measure the all the handles and so on. And I use the tape here to uh, make the plastic uh, 30 millimeter fit because it's a uh, like four millimeters of um, of space between them. And then we're just gonna measuring and uh, cutting and uh, so on to make this part of the syringe here. Part that you see, what I will put on the front here is uh, from uh, from threads that you buy for a large sewing machine. I think it's an uh, overlock machine. So it's like a thousand meters or something of of thread on that. And here I actually trying to see which uh, part of this can like leap over to extend that grave part a little bit further. And now we're going to make a handle, which is a, this is a plastic uh, road sign. Uh, you can actually use any kind of thick kind of plastic, but uh, since I'm working on the Swedish road apartment, I actually have access to these things from the dumpster because when you are driving into them with a car and they will break and then will be useless, so they throw them away. So I'm just picking them up and reusing them. But any kind of like you know, plastic bin or something can be used. So here you did the marks there for it. So we're just gonna cut it out. And I'll fit in that. It has some, this is some thick aluminium wire. You can take any kind of metal wire for this. And now I'm taking hot glue and gluing on there. And then I think I'll take the heat gun and actually try to shape it so it will have a more even shape. Be sure to twist this a lot because uh, since it's become liquid, it will just try to uh, pour down. And we're going to take a little plastic part here and just glue it on. And then I have gone over and sprayed everything gold. But because nothing is new and fresh in um, Rapture, we are going to apply this metal paint here and also going to start to mix up some some good things. You see, I have gray, green gray and brown so it wakes up so it looks like uh, more like old brash color so I'm just slapping this on and I'm going to take a rag and wipe it off so it will be like more even and due to acrylic paint and uh, spray paint doesn't really go well together because they they don't attach properly uh, so we have to wipe it to sometimes rub it in on an even surface. And now we're gonna highlight with some black paint. So it will also look like the dirt has collected in the uneven surfaces. Yes, and there we go how to make a big syringe. Thank you for watching.